Hey guys, my name is Boris and I'm a 6th semester computer engineering student at the Technical University of Berlin. In this channel, I want to talk about things that I've learned and may bring you value, general educational topics and a few lifestyle videos. Today, I will show you how you can finally use ROS on your Mac. On February 16th, an article was released which talks about the RoboStack project. They have created a Conda channel, which you can install, and it is a good read if you want to look a bit more into it. So as mentioned, to install ROS, you need Conda. And in the Git repository, they recommend using Mini Conda or Mamba Forge. I went with Mini Conda, but you can go with Mamba if you want. You basically just use Mamba to install the packages, so it's no big deal. Okay, let's start by installing Miniconda. Therefore, we will open the Conda documentations and learn on a page like this, or specifically at on this page. Um, I will have all the links I use for this tutorial in the description below, so don't be afraid to look around for them all the time. Um, so I will choose the Miniconda version with Python 3.9. Even though we will later choose our Python environments to be with Python 3.8, but yeah. So let's just install it. This might take a little bit, so I'll see you when we're finished here. Okay, and we're done with the installation of Miniconda. Now let's create the ROS environment. For that, we will need our terminal and we'll start by creating the ROS environment. So, conda create minus n ROS Python is equal to 3.8. Now, this ROS here is just the environment name, so you can call it whatever you want. But since we are installing a ROS environment, let's just call it ROS. Okay, so we have created the little environment so we can activate it. Okay, after finally typing activate correctly, um, we can activate ROS. So now you see we are in our ROS environment. And now we want to add two channels, and those are ConduForge and RoboStack. For that, we'll type in Conda config um, add channel and then we'll add conda forge and you'll see this warning here i already have it since i have done this already but that won't uh, show up in your case and you will just have the config set and we'll basically do the same just with the RoboStack um, channel. Again, same error with me, but you wouldn't have that error, probably. So next we will set the Conda um, channel priority to strict. Okay, 
So we are basically set, we have the channels and we can now install the full version of the RoboStack environment. As you can, in the Git repository, they will say, they will go with the raw Snowetic desktop version, the let's say default version. Um, here you can also see that you would also just use Mambo instead of Conda if you choose to. But we will go with the Rosnoetic desktop full version. So, for that we will conda install Rosnoetic So this will again probably take a bit and I'll see you guys when this is done. Okay, so we're back. We've now installed all the packages from the channel from RoboStack and we'll continue installing a few other packages like in compilers and most importantly uh, the catkin tools. So for that we will use conda install compilers, install cmake, package config, make, ninja and the catkin tools. Okay, so we are basically done. We have our ROS environment set. We can now kind of deactivate it to just reset it. And now we have some, we could use or try at least to use something like a ROS core. And you'll see the command is not found. But now if we um, activate ROS, we can use a ROS core. And you see we have a ROS core running. Okay, and now I'm in a cleaner screen just to show you this little demo where I will basically just run all of this. And with that, I just want to show you that you can actually run on your Mac when you're in your ROS environment, run, um, yeah, ROS environment, ROS programs like Arvis. And this is just a little demo I wanted to show you. And yeah, with that said, I hope you've learned something and now know that you can run a ROS environment on your Mac directly. And you can also run it with Docker or something, but this is a bit more convenient perhaps and that said thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye